I'm here with vet Kat Baisley from Synergy Farm Health to run through the different options on how farmers can track heifer growth rates. You need to get started when the heifers are young so that you can maintain them on target all the way through. We're looking for, with Holsteins, a target growth rate of between 0.7 and 0.8 kilos a day and actually they have to work quite hard to achieve that and they can't really have a holiday from, from growing so we need to work out what they're doing all the way through from, from quite young. I mean in an absolutely ideal world you, you weigh them at birth and then you take them on um, from then on but birth weights are a, a nuisance to collect but I think sometime shortly after weaning is a good time to start and we certainly found from our work that, that a lot of variation in uh, heifer growth seems to uh, kick in between um, 100 and 200 days so that we've got a huge amount of variation uh, by the time they're six months old so we want to get started before that and, and how should they be monitored at that stage? What can you use? We've got quite a fancy set of Yes, I, I think uh, the, the, the simplest uh, is is to weigh the simplest and quickest and we've certainly but it doesn't need to be this is a, a digital way crush with a computerized uh, readout and and the information can be kept from one weighing to the next but if you've got a simple uh, ordinary um, weigh crush then that's absolutely fine um, it's also possible to use a weigh, a weigh band um, one or two uh, provisos about that and of course we can also look at, at uh, withers height um, which which is easy in in uh, principle but uh, often doesn't get done. So everybody needs to handle heifers on a reasonably regular basis and and in fact if you weigh them when you're handling them for something else it's then really no extra a job at all so you weigh them when you're worming them or when you're vaccinating them or when you're uh, when you fly spot on them whatever and and it simply takes you an extra uh, moment or two to record how heavy they are we've also got uh, a number of herds in the practice which which uh, that where they they hire this setup when they're TB testing and they only weigh that once a year but they weigh all the young stock at that point and it gives them a very good picture of of, uh, of where their heifers are uh, at, in that one snapshot a year I think the best way to do it is to make a graph of uh, age in days against weighting kilos and that very very quickly gives you a picture of where you are and and you're looking both for the level of variation between within a group of animals or within your whole uh, herd but also you can pick out outliers and and one of the great things is that you pick out the animal that isn't growing very well when she's five six seven months old and you either uh, find out what's the problem and treat it or you decide that she's a no-hoper and and uh, you get rid of her at that point rather than discovering when she's 18 19 months old that she's never actually going to make it um, in this herd they're using 380 kilos as the uh, as the target weight for service so this one's uh, she's she's already been picked out she's 426 kilos but it's also very a, a, a very useful measure is withers height and and this is using 124 centimeters as uh, as a target withers height for a Holstein at bulling and and this animal is well topping that so she's uh, she's about 120 28 129 centimeters um, the reason for measuring withers height is because it's uh, it's important that your heifers are putting on frame and that they're not uh, just putting on fat so what you're looking for is a tall lean heifer and from before they come to bull in uh, weight we want to be looking at condition scoring animals so they don't want to be starting to get fat so we don't want fat building up around the tail head or uh, or over the pin bones uh, and and this is an animal who's probably pretty close to perfect this needs to be done fairly regularly right through until they carve now um, and 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 so she would be two and a half plus 
and, and, and is about right. Obviously we don't want them uh, skinny um, because they're not going to grow very well if they're being kept short of food. And the way to keep the, uh, the growth going, the frame going on growing, is, uh, is uh, to maintain protein levels throughout the, the rearing process. The proportion of heifers always who, who reach their, their bulling weight and don't very quickly get into calf and, and those animals that, uh, that, that delay coming through round to, uh, to calving of course are in danger of getting too fat and, uh, and all sorts of problems and also later costs um, if they get too fat before they calve that first time. So it is weight, but it's also um, to make sure that the heifers are, you, you don't, you're not looking for short ha fat heifers, you're looking for tall, lean heifers with, with plenty of, uh, of bone growth. And, uh, and so we need to be condition scoring as well as, as weighing, really from about a year old, and then following that through all the way through pregnancy right till they calve. Okay, so, so the alternative is to measure <coughs> withers height and and you can just have a, uh, a, a measurer as they come on through or even um, uh, paint the right level on the wall. Uh, we're using 124 centimetres as a, uh, a target bulling height for Holsteins. And, and in fact, you can get these measuring sticks which you can take on right from uh, young calves so that they get it, they're, they're hitting the right withers height all the way through, um, all the, way through the, uh, the rearing process. So this is another heifer from the same group who is, she's 361 kilos and so she's got another, a, a little way to go and she is also not quite at the, uh, at the target, at the target height. So she's going she, when to, she, when she's put a, this is going to be <coughs> in another uh, month or six weeks, she'll be ready go to, 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 to be served. And it's just showing that, uh, that both systems are, are effective the target that you want them to. Right. That's, you, that's one of the benefits you've seen, hasn't it? That yes. Oh yeah. The positioning of the crush, that's quite important, isn't it, to make sure that the flow Oh, that's right, make, right make sure the flow's right, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. that's um, to make it an easier operation. Because we can actually do all our animals in about an hour. Okay. So it only takes an hour to weigh sort of 80, 90 animals. Well, we've definitely benefited yeah. from it, so... So you'd recommend it to, to yeah, us? Yeah, I would, yeah.